Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me here in this yoga practice, a gentle seated practice. So as we move through the class, I encourage you to always listen to what your body needs. Know that my suggestions are intended to facilitate an experience of awareness and connection with yourself, but they are just suggestions. So if any movements or positions don't feel right for your body today, know that that's okay. You can adapt, make any changes that feel right for you, and take good care of yourselves as we move through the practice. Know that yoga is so much about relaxation of the mind and balancing of the nervous system. It's okay if you need to make any changes to the physical practice. So we'll begin seated. You're welcome to have your two feet just resting down upon the floor. Let the spine be upright as tall as is comfortable. And we'll begin with our eyes closed, knowing that if you do prefer them open, doing so with just a soft gaze. Taking these first few moments to arrive in your practice with awareness and connection. And as you're settling in here, noticing the feeling of breathing, breathing in and out through the nose if that's available today. And as you pay attention to the breath, you may notice that there's a natural sort of slowing down of the breath, a natural deepening and elongation of each inhale and elongation of each exhale. So you begin to move into what we call the full yogic breath. In the full yogic breath, we inhale to expand the belly, the middle ribs and the upper chest. And we exhale to relax and let go. So it's a very comfortable breath, there's no strain Yet you may start to notice the movement of the diaphragm, the filling of the lungs on the inhale, so belly and chest expand, and the release on the exhale. Maybe the navel draws slightly back towards the spine. And you may begin to notice the spaces in between each breath and become aware of this space. as we begin to welcome spaciousness in the mind, allowing your thinking mind to relax, as you connect with feelings and sensations, noticing how you've landed here today, are there any areas of tension to be aware of? Are there any areas of sensation to notice? Becoming a compassionate witness, witnessing your experience without any judgment, without any need to change or make things different practicing compassion and connection. So continue to rest here for a few more breaths, allowing each breath to flow in a way that feels comfortable and natural. And yet there may be that slight deepening and lengthening of the breath.
You can begin to wiggle your fingers and toes now, slowly reawakening. And as you reawaken, perhaps the eyes are fluttering open. And here we'll let the spine again lengthen a little taller if you can. Beautiful. Let's begin movement in our shoulders, allowing the shoulders to rotate perhaps forward and up and then back and down and all around. As you're exploring your shoulders, maybe you'd like to move one shoulder differently than the other, like a backstroke or a forward stroke, swimming shoulders. Exploring what do your shoulders need today? So the practice of yoga is so much about listening to ourselves. We can be creative and explore. Always connecting with the breath and relaxing the mind. Wonderful. So let's draw our shoulders up, back and down, and then pause there. So there's that gentle lift around the heart. Let's do a few sun breaths. So we'll inhale and sweep our arms out and up just as high as is comfortable for you. Draw the palms together and then slide the hands down to the heart on your exhale. So we're moving with breath your own pace. Inhale, the arms float up. Exhale, the hands come down to the heart. Moving with the pace of your breath as you start to align the movement of the body with the movement of the breath. Let's do just a few more rounds. And the next time you have hands at the heart, let's pause there. The hands at heart center, you may like to close the eyes again and take a few breaths to set an intention for your practice. This is also like you're setting an intention for your day or your week, planting a positive seed. So an example might be an intention of peace or an intention of gratitude, joy. So opening up to your intention here. Beautiful. From there, interlace the hands together and let's circle our wrists. A gentle rotation, perhaps a figure eight or a circle here. You can change the direction too. Wonderful. And then bring the hands back together at the heart and we'll practice Padme Mudra, the Lotus Mudra. The pinkies and thumbs touch and then the inner three fingers of each hand blossom open like a flower. Here you can feel the nice stretch in the fingers and in the hands. You may also like to visualize a flower, perhaps close the eyes and imagine your favorite spring flower. As you breathe in to hope and the promise of spring. And that sense of hope in our hearts we can bring in any time of year. Good. Now let's inhale and lift that flower up over the crown of the head and exhale. The arms come down. You can twirl the wrists and wiggle your fingers. Wonderful. Let's bring our hands towards the shoulders here. They don't have to touch, just bringing them in that direction. And then we'll circle the elbows round and round. You can change the direction too. Good. And then we'll relax the arms down back to the lap or wherever they're comfortable. Let's do a few stretches for the neck. Begin with the chin lowering towards the chest. Pause here and take a few breaths, feeling the gentle stretch at the back of the neck and around the shoulders. Inhale, let the head float back up and tilt your gaze upward. Exhale, lower the chin back down, bowing the head. Inhale, the head floats back up. Let's continue this just a few more rounds, like a slow motion nod of the head. Yes. Pausing the next time the head passes through neutral. Now we'll turn from side to side. Begin with the head turning towards your right side as if looking over your right shoulder. 
Bringing your head back through center and then over to the left side, looking over your left shoulder. Slowly the head floats through center and to the right. So continue gently moving the head from one side to the other, knowing there's no rush. Always moving in a slow, mindful pace. Connecting breath, body, and awareness. Wonderful. So the next time the head turns to your right, let's pause there. Head turning to the right, holding that position, feeling the gentle stretch here. A few breaths in this position. Let's bring the head back through center and to the other side. Pausing there. And the head floats back through center. Now letting your right ear soften towards the right shoulder. Letting both shoulders remain relaxed and down. Feeling the gentle stretch now through the left side of your neck. And we'll lift the head up and then over to the other side, bringing your left ear to the left shoulder, both shoulders still relaxed. And we'll lift the head back up and over to the other side again, bringing right ear towards right shoulder. Feeling the gentle stretch, breathing into that gentle stretch. The head floats up and over to the other side. Let's float the head back up to center and pause there. Wonderful. With your next inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Option to lift the legs and make some circles with your ankles and your wrists here. Wonderful, we'll lower the two feet down and the option to bow forward. You may bring your hands, your elbows or your chest towards the thighs. A gentle stretch for the back coming down just as far as is comfortable today. Wonderful, let's flow back up to a tall spine. Here, bringing our hands together at heart center, palm to palm. With an inhale, open your arms out to the sides like wings that are expanding. Let the heart and the gaze lift. With your exhale, draw the palms together again, but round your spine so you're tucking the chin, bowing down, curling through the back. Now inhale, extending, lifting the heart, sweeping the arms back, looking up. Exhale, we're into flexion, round the spine, draw the palms together, bow down. Continue to flow here with your breath, opening on the inhale, lifting the heart, rounding in on the exhale, bowing down. Follow your breath pace here as you move. Awakening your spine the front, the back of the heart, and the arms as wings. Wonderful. So the next time you have the arms expanded to the sides, let's pause there with the heart lifted. Feel the stretch through the front chest, shoulders drawing back and down, and then relax the arms down. Take a few gentle circles with your shoulders. Good, let's roll our shoulders back, pause there. Inhale, arms lift, option of legs as well. A few circles with wrists and ankles. Remembering, if it's not comfortable to lift the arms all the way up, you can do this with just the arms partially lifted. So always listening to your body, okay? Let's lower the feet, bow down. You may bring hands, elbows, or chest down towards the thighs. Again, listening to your body wisdom. Beautiful, let's float back up to a tall spine and pause there. Finding your breath and relaxing. Good, so now we'll inhale, 
lift your right arm up to the sky and then start to stretch the upper body and the arm towards your left side. So again, if the shoulder rotation or range of motion isn't there to lift the arm up, you can always draw the arm across the front of the body, okay? So knowing you can adapt if needed. Breathe into that crescent moon shape and then float gently back up, relax the right arm down. Sweep the left arm up as high as is comfortable and over towards the right. You might imagine a crescent moon in your mind's eye, breathing into the side bend. Beautiful, let's float up and release the arm down. Again, the right arm floats up and over to the left side, that gentle stretch through the side body as you breathe. Let's float up, release the arm down and the other side once again. Reaching high up and over, breathing here. Let's rise back up, release the arms down. Inhale, both arms come up as high as is comfortable. Lift the legs, some circles with wrists and ankles. Wiggle fingers and toes, lower the feet, and then bow gently forward and down. So that bow for you might be so slight that you're just leaning forward or you might be more comfortable coming down, elbows or chest towards thighs. Breathe. And we'll lift ourselves back up, taking your time. Wonderful. Now we'll move into a twist, crossing your right ankle over your left ankle or your right leg over your left leg. So either way is fine. Bring your right arm beside you. Take your left hand, cross it over to your right leg. With your inhale, lengthen your spine. With your exhale, gently rotate towards your right, turning from the waist to the chest, the shoulders and the head. Finding your breath here in a twist. Letting the mind relax. And we'll gently soften back through center, uncrossing right foot down. Other side, we'll cross left ankle or left leg over right, whatever's your preference. Left arm comes beside you and right hand crosses to the left leg. Breathing in to lengthen, breathing out to rotate here towards your left. Knowing that if you ever feel confused with right and left side, just do the side that feels opposite to where you just were. Breathing and feeling the gentle opening across the chest and across the heart. We'll relax back through center, uncrossing the foot. We'll do the first side again. So crossing right ankle or right leg over left. Right arm at your side, left hand crossing to right leg, just as far over as is comfortable. Breathe in to grow tall. Breathe out to gently rotate from your waist up to the chest, the shoulders and the head. As though you can sort of wring out any tension you may be holding. Breathing here. And we'll relax back through center, bringing the feet back down, good. Last time on the other side, crossing left ankle or left leg over. Left arm at your side, right hand crosses to left leg. With your inhale, lengthen, and with your exhale, gently rotate here over towards the left. Feeling the gentle twist. Breathing. Breathing. 
And we'll relax back to center, taking your time, uncrossing feet back to earth, pausing there. You may like to close the eyes here for a few breaths and notice the effect. Notice, do you feel any different from when you first landed in the practice? Maybe the spine's feeling a bit taller. Maybe there's a little more room for your breath. Noticing without judgment, always with compassion. Good. You can flutter the eyes open. We'll salute the sun, bringing the hands palm to palm at the heart. Inhale and draw the sun around you like a big rising sun. Your heart and your gaze lift. With your exhale, bow down like a setting sun, just as far down as feels available today. Like you're bowing to the earth as the sun set. Float gently up, and as you rise, we'll lift the arms and the legs, if that's available. Pausing here, feel your core awakening. And then lowering the feet, we'll bring our hands together at the heart. Interlace the hands, and then round your spine. Bring your arms out forward. Tuck the chin and round through the back. Good. As you inhale, release the hands apart. Bring your elbows to the sides of the body like a cactus shape. And then let your heart lift. Feel like you're squeezing your shoulder blades towards each other and shoulders back and down. Lift through the heart. Good. And then with an inhale, we'll again lift our arms and our legs. Feel your strength. And then lower the feet and we'll bow down. Another setting sun bows to the earth. Gently floating back up, pausing here, feeling the effect, the warmth of the sun, the light of awareness. And we'll do that sequence again, bringing our hands to heart center. With an inhale, arms reach out and up, draw the sun, lift the heart, a rising sun. Exhale, bowing down over the horizon, just as far down as you wish. Floating back up as you rise, let the arms lift, let the legs lift. If that's available, always listening to your body. Good, lower the feet, bring the hands together at the heart, interlace the hands, round your spine, drawing the chin to the chest, arms out forward, tucking in like a child's pose, bowing to the earth. Inhale, lift your heart up, draw the hands apart, elbows to the sides, let the chest lift, shoulders draw back and down. Good, inhale again, lift the arms, lift the legs, feel your strength. Lower the feet and we'll bow back forward and down just as far as feels available today. Good, let's gently rise back up to a tall spine and take a moment to pause and reconnect with your breath. Perhaps feeling again that sense of warmth in the body. Good, now let's bring our elbows out to the sides again with palms forward. Draw the forearms towards each other and then open the arms back out to the sides. Let's do this a few more times with your own pace. Feeling the gentle strengthening of the arms and the shoulders as you move. Wonderful. Let's open our arms to the sides, pause there, and then relax the arms down. If it feels good, a little wiggle of your arms or gentle shake out of the shoulders. Let's bring our arms straight out to the sides this time. Draw the arms towards each other. One arm may cross on top of the other and then open the arms back out. Good. Now other arm may cross on top and open back out. Continue your own pace. Back and forth movement. Knowing you're welcome to take a rest anytime you need. Staying connected with your body, your wisdom. Good, so let's open our arms one last time and then relax them down again. Maybe a little shake and wiggle out here if that feels good. Wonderful, let's let our arms rest wherever they're comfortable. Maybe a few circles of the shoulders here. 
Good, let's relax our shoulders down. We'll move into our legs, beginning with your right leg, lifting up and then lowering down. Continue up and down movement here of this right leg, lifting and lowering with your own pace. Let's lift the leg up, hold it there, and make some gentle circles with your right ankle. Good, you can change the direction too. Let's point our toes forward and then flex the foot back toes towards your body and then point the toes out forward and then flex the foot back heel reaches forward there. Go back and forth here a few more times, pointing and flexing the right foot. Good, let's pause with the toes pointed, feeling the gentle stretch through the front of the foot and ankle. And then pause with the foot flexed where your heels reaching forward, feeling the gentle stretch perhaps into the back of the leg. And then let's return to a circle with the right ankle in each direction. Good, let's relax the right leg down and take a moment to notice, is there any difference between right and left sides of the body? Good, we'll move into the left leg, floating up and then lowering down. Taking your time to lift and lower this left leg with your own pace. And the next time the leg lifts up, we'll pause there and make a gentle circle with the ankle, rotating, changing the direction. Good. Now let's point our toes forward and then flex the foot back and do this back and forth a few more times, pointing and flexing the foot. Beautiful, we'll point our toes and hold there and breathe. And flex your foot, the heel reaching forward, feeling the gentle stretch. And then circle your ankle again in each direction. Wonderful, let's let the leg relax down. Take a moment to notice any difference between these two sides of the body. Maybe a little bit more balance now. Wonderful. From here, let's try lifting the right knee just a little bit up and then a gentle rotation with the knee. So you're actually rotating just a little bit into the right hip. And you can change the direction as well. Good. And then pause with the knee centered, the leg centered, and a gentle lift of the leg up. And then we'll press this leg forward and then relax it down. Wonderful. We'll do the other side, so left knee lifts, and we're just finding a gentle circling movement, changing the direction anytime, exploring the movement of the hip, lubricating. Good, and then pausing with the knee centered, and then lifting gently up. And then stretching the leg out, and lowering it down. Wonderful job, everyone. Taking a few breaths to pause and receive. You might even close the eyes and remember your intention, that seed that you've planted in your practice. Beautiful, eyes may flutter open. Now let's bring our hands together at the heart palm to palm. Bringing your hands over to one side and then up, just as high as you can around the other side and down. So you're drawing a full moon shape with your hands in this prayer position. Round and round, moving nice and slow, knowing there's no rush through the movements, staying connected with your breath. Good, you can change the direction as well as if now, moving from waxing to waning. Good. 
Wonderful. Let's pause with the hands at heart center, holding there. Now, with the hands still connected, pressing firmly together, we'll begin to turn the head towards the right and at the same time, press your hands towards the left. So you have hands pressing to the left and head turning to right, holding there and breathing. Bringing the head and the hands through center and then to the other side. Head turns over to the left, hands press to the right, holding there. Breathe. And bringing the head and the hands back to center. Let's return to the lotus flower, bringing pinkies and thumbs to touch, letting the fingers open out. The inner three fingers of each hand are blossoming, open. Inhale, let the hands float gently up. And exhale, the arms come down, twirl the wrists and wiggle the fingers like falling rain. Let's do that again. So bring the hands together, blossom open like a flower. Inhale, lift up. Exhale down, twirl the wrists, wiggle the fingers. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, blossoming, open, lifting, rising, growing. Exhale, releasing down like raindrops. Now you can continue those gentle wrist circles here and you can change the direction and explore. Wonderful, and then we'll squeeze the hands tightly together like you're making fists. And then stretch the fingers wide open and then squeezing in and stretching out, squeezing in, stretching open, and then some gentle wiggling movements in your fingers and thumbs. You might imagine you're playing a piano and feel the movement into all the knuckles. Breathing here as well. Beautiful, now we'll turn our palms to face up and then you can even rest the hands on the thighs. Begin with both thumbs coming gently towards the palm and then they come back to neutral. Now both index fingers come down towards the palms. They don't have to touch, you're just stretching them as far as feels available and then they come back to neutral. Both middle fingers stretching down Good, and then back to neutral. Ring fingers now. And then pinky fingers. Wonderful, take your time beginning with both thumbs to move through all the thumbs and fingers again. Taking your time, feeling the gentle stretch. Feeling your breath. Wonderful, and then let the hands just rest with the palms up when you are complete, feeling the sensation in your hands. And arms and hands are like extensions of the heart, so bring one hand to your belly and then one hand to your chest, offering yourself compassion from the heart, through the arms, through the hands. So here you might close the eyes, practice the full yogic breath, inhaling belly, middle ribs, upper chest, expand. Exhaling, relaxing the chest and the belly, deflating. Follow your breath here, inhaling and exhaling. Offering yourself peace. Offering yourself compassion. Offering whatever wishes and prayers you have for yourself. We'll let our hands relax down to the lap as we shift into our final relaxation, a time of stillness and meditation. You're welcome to really settle into your chair, make any little adjustments to make yourself comfortable. 
Here, allowing the eyes to close down, knowing that we're moving into a stillness, relaxation, meditation. So as the eyes close, allow your eyes to relax into the soothing darkness. Feel the body resting, supported by the chair, supported by the earth. Trust that you are supported. So supported that you can relax a little more. So allow the movement of the breath to flow in and out. Gentle waves of inhale and exhale. Allow each wave of breath to carry you to relax and let go a little more. Each wave of breath guiding you into stillness, into relaxation. The mind is relaxed and clear. The body relaxed. The heart radiant with compassion, with kindness and gratitude. Allowing yourself to relax and let go. Knowing that there's nothing you need to do. Simply resting as you are.
Continue to rest and relax here in the home of your body, at home here in your center. Begin to notice your breath again, breathing in and out gently in a relaxed way. Begin to notice how you're feeling and notice the space that you're in, any sounds that surround you, the air against your skin. giving thanks for this journey that we are on. Giving thanks for your breath, for your body, your mind, and your whole self. You can begin to reawaken wiggling our fingers and toes, just nice and slow, any little movements to help you transition. Then we'll bring our hands together at the heart, palm to palm. Here, let's close our practice with dedicating the benefits outward. May all beings live in peace. May our lives contribute to this peace for all. Namaste and thank you. So thank you so much for participating in the practice. Wishing you well. Namaste.